This is Robert Kraft and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live and we're here at the Microcap Conference 2016 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. With me right now is Mike D. Pasquale from BioKey International, publicly traded company with the symbol BKYI. Mike, welcome back to SNN Live. Great to be back with you again. It's been, it's been about six months. It's been a couple months, you know, we missed you here. <laughs> So, for our audience that may have missed that first interview with us, uh, let's do an overview first and then we'll get an update. Great. Uh, BioKey is a company that's providing uh, secure authentication solutions using finger biometric technology. Uh, we're basically out on a mission to remove the necessity for you to utilize passwords for anything that you access. Uh, our convenient uh, software and hardware products make it very, very easy for you to not only access information, but secure your devices and ensure that you are the only one that has access to information uh, that may be stored on your device or in the cloud. Okay, so as we said, our last interview was in uh, June this year. So what's been going on in the company since then? Well, a lot's been going on. Uh, I think last time we were together, I showed uh, the audience a couple of our finger scanner devices that we had just introduced at that time. Now, these devices are available uh, in a number of retail outlets, including the Microsoft stores. They're available online at the Microsoft.com website. They're available on Dell.com. They're available on Amazon.com. Uh, and there are a number of other uh, distribution and retail outlets that you'll soon see them. So we're really out about to allow consumers the ability to again identify themselves and to replace their PIN and password on their devices all through the Microsoft framework, the Windows 10 uh, and Windows Hello framework with our devices. So, you know, I just I went onto your website, which I believe is a new website as well, and I saw the, the video on there that really gives a good overview of the company. Uh, and from that, I wanted to, what I wanted to extract and share with our audience uh, is what are some of the applications for your devices out there? Well, I mentioned quite a bit uh, about the consumer and the ability, again, to replace their passwords for access to their device, their computer, with Windows. But we also have a, a significant population of enterprise users that we've accumulated through the years that are using our software and now, of course, our hardware devices for access to all kinds of enterprise business class applications. For example, on that video you saw uh, someone accessing the point of sale terminal uh, at a restaurant. Uh, we have uh, companies like OmniCell that utilize our technology for access for nurses and practitioners to access uh, drug dispensing cabinets that are located in hospitals around the world. Uh, we have uh, uh, companies utilizing our technology for access to their enterprise applications. Uh, any place that you're using a password you can utilize a biometric. And we have customers in virtually every sector of the economy that are using this technology, including the FBI and the US courts uh, and a host of other, again, uh, commercial entities that are taking advantage of not only the security, but the convenience that biometrics can provide. What I also want to know is a little bit about the market landscape. You know, how's the adoption rates been? You know, are people still somewhat hesitant to use you know, not just yours, but in general, this type of authentication technology for security? Well, I think the uptick in the commercial space has certainly lagged behind the forensic market or the, you know, law enforcement space. But at this point, we're starting to see uh, the, the real uptake in very large entities, very large corporations that are realizing that they can no longer secure their infrastructure with the plethora of devices that employees are coming with uh, and to all of that information that they're now storing in the cloud. So they have a dilemma. Uh, tokens, cards, keys, passwords, and pins are very cumbersome. They can be traded and used by individuals uh, and they can be shared. Whereas your biometric is personal to you, in particular your finger biometric is personal to you and can only be used by you. So the uptake has been slow, uh, for sure. We've been in this business for over 20 years. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, since the consumer has been introduced to biometrics through the Apple iPhone and through the Samsung Galaxy and the devices that are out there that have embedded finger scanners on them, uh, we're starting to see the acceptance rate, number one, 
very positive, but more importantly, we're starting to see enterprises begin to use this to protect their infrastructure. So I think uh, within the next uh, six to 12 months, uh, we're gonna see significant mainstream uh, deployments of this technology. And what's the competitive landscape like too? I mean, are there other companies out there that are deploying similar technology to yours? And if so, what's your competitive advantage? Well, there's always competition. There isn't a market that's as sizable and significant as the security market is, in particular biometrics, without competition. But uh, these devices that uh, I showed before, uh, we're selling at list price $39.99. Uh, we don't have a competitor today who has the quality of device at this price point. So, number one, we have a significant competitive advantage. Number two, uh, we have a very strong and tight coupled relationship with Microsoft and we are their go-to vendor for finger biometrics. Uh, they sell these devices in their retail stores, uh, they sell them online, and we integrate and are certified by them for quality and, uh, and certainly durability. So th that's a competitive advantage for us. Uh, in terms of uh, the uh, landscape and competition on the government side, there are a number of companies that have been in the business for a while, even longer than we have, uh, who've sold uh, large systems to governments here and abroad. But uh, we have our fair share or unfair share of installations like that as well. So uh, it is a, a market that's big. It is a market that has competition. But I believe at this point, uh, we're in a very, very good position as kind of a, a first mover for these consumer devices to, uh, to do something significant that has not been done before by any other company. So. Also, I want to know, you know, for, from what you can tell me, and I, I believe I asked the same question in June as well, you know, what are some of the goals and milestones for the company for the rest of 2016 and moving into 2017? Well, for sure, uh, you know, we want to grow our business in 2016. So uh, absolutely growing our business is, is critical and important, and uh, we certainly want to do that. Uh, we want to expand our market share on the consumer side. So we've, we've gone from introducing these devices six months ago to the point now where they're available in the retail outlets. So we want to see that business grow exponentially. Uh, and into next year, we want to leverage some of these very, very large enterprise opportunities that we're now in proof of concept for, or we're in pilot phases. We want to turn those into revenue. And these are big deals, they're multi-million dollar opportunities. And we want to set those as references for us to go after this business in a much bigger way in 2017 and beyond. Uh, ultimately, uh, I think our company is, uh, uh, you know, is one that can be coupled very nicely with a very large security company uh, remember that there isn't a technology company today, uh, including Microsoft, CA, Oracle, uh, that is not, and, and IBM, uh, that doesn't have a very big security practice. So, uh, you know, who knows what might be uh, ahead of us, but at least at this point, we've got to execute, we've got to grow our business, and we've got to create value for our shareholders. Okay, so Mike, uh, where can our audience go and find more information about BioKey International? Uh, they can go to www.bio-key.com to find any kind of or other information on our company. My name is Robert Kraft and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live and we're at the Microcap Conference 2016 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. With me again has been Mike DePasquale from BioKey International, publicly traded company with the symbol BKYI. Mike, always a pleasure. Thank you.